Hello, third grade scientists, and welcome back. We are still working in science unit four on weather and climate. Today, we will review some of the vocabulary that you will see during your lessons this week. So let's get going. We will review together the academic and content vocabulary for this unit of study. We will study word meanings, look at examples to help you understand the work you will be doing during your science lessons this week. Here we go. Let's review the difference between academic and content vocabulary. Academic, these are the words that you may find in some of the questions or focuses for the lessons. These can be found in other subject areas as well. Content. These are the words that are specific to understanding the science lessons. Let's take a look at some of the academic vocabulary for this week. These are some of your lesson objectives for the week. You have, today you will be able to differentiate between weather and climate. And another one that you will encounter this week is, today you will be able to analyze data to find patterns in weather and climate. Let's take a look at the words analyze and differentiate. You'll notice that I have them highlighted in a different color. Before we move on to look at their meanings and some examples, take a moment and think about whether or not you've ever heard either of these words before, possibly even in different subject areas in school. Differentiate or analyze. What do you think they mean? Okay, good thinking, let's take a look. Analyze, analyze is a verb or an action word. It means to separate into parts for close study, to examine and to explain. Another word that means the same thing is examine or dissect. Let's take a look at an example. Notice this sign says looking closely into her microscope. She is looking closely at something in order to analyze it and look at it closely for its parts and take a very close study of it. This is an example of a scientist analyzing data. Differentiate. Differentiate is also a verb. It means to find the differences or the distinctions between. Another word that means the same thing is to distinguish. In other words, it's it's a comparison or a contrasting. You look at two different things and find the differences between them. Let's take a look at an example. Here you see a picture of four shapes. We could say that the thing that they have in common is that they're all shapes. However, if we want to differentiate them, we could say that there are three circles and one star. The star is different from the circles. It has a different shape and it is also colored in while the circles are left white inside. That's an example of differentiation. Now let's take a look at some of the content vocabulary you have this week. Let's take a look at some of the important content words for this week's lessons. These are some of the words you will learn about during your lessons this week. You will have the word season, typical, orbit, and it may sound familiar to you, climate, because I believe we've thought about that word before. So I know at the very least you can think about the meaning of that word, but I, I'm sure, I'm almost positive you've heard of at least a few more of these words, if not all of them. So take a moment before we move on, stop and think whether or not you've ever heard, read, or seen these words somewhere before. What do you think they mean? And can you give any examples? Okay, let's take a look. See, the first word is season. Season is a noun. The seasons are the four parts of the year. They are winter, spring, summer, and fall or autumn. Let's look at examples. Here's an example of a tree in the four different seasons. So you can see the tree beginning to bloom in spring, fully green in summer, its leaves starting to turn and change colors for the fall or autumn, and the tree bare without leaves in the winter. 
These pictures of the trees are examples of the four seasons of the year. Orbit. Orbit is also a noun. Orbit is one complete trip along a path. For example, the Earth makes one orbit around the sun each year. So here you can see the orbit of the Earth or its path around the sun. Climate. Climate is also a noun. Climate is the usual weather conditions in a place. We've spoken about this word before. This is a review word. Can you give examples of types of climate now that I know you've had experience with this word before? If you take a look at this climate map, you can see some different examples of climate. So up toward the Northern hemisphere, you see very cold or icy climate, right? In the middle where the equator is, the very center of the earth is where it's the warmest. That's why it's colored in a red orangey color to show that this is a very warm climate. And in between you have the temperate climates where it can sometimes be warm and sometimes be cold. And if you move to the bottom to the Southern hemisphere, again, Antarctica, it would be, you would be back into a super cold climate again. So it's the usual weather conditions in a place that don't change drastically. Typical. Typical is an adjective or describing word. Typical is the distinctive qualities of a particular type of thing or how it's usual. The typical weather in an Arctic climate might look like this. In other words, it's usually cold and icy. You won't see a warm, balmy beach day in the Arctic. These are awesome words related to weather and climate. And now that you're familiar with these awesome words, you will be able to use them and understand them during your learning. Keep up the great work, third grade scientists. You're doing awesome.